Uh, no, I mean, uh, I, I learned um, the first time being traded to not uh, get your emotions too high going into a game like this. Um, a lot of respect for that organization, a lot of friends still over there, and then they definitely want to beat them. But from an emotional standpoint, it's another game just to get better and go out there and play the best ball that I can possibly play. Uh, just a little bit, a little bit at the beginning. Uh, I'm I'm always doing something on the side myself, uh, so I ain't really get the chance to see him that much. Hey Brandon, how cool was it to see your former teammate in Tom Brady with six hundred yeah. touchdowns over the weekend? I mean, it's huge. Um, you talk about, that's a special guy, and uh, you know, love playing with him. And I mean, what he's doing is is incredible, and uh, you love to see it, and love to see him continue to defeat the odds. Mills, you know, you play with a lot of quarterbacks. How long does it generally take for you to get an idea of what they are and how much growth they have to go? Um, you know, I think that takes a long time. Um, you can't pin that person a certain way just off of a few weeks. So I think I think that takes a minute. Hey, Brandon, you mentioned, you know, you've been traded a couple times. You know, with the NFL trade deadline coming up, you know, is it a little bit like nerve-wracking around the locker room just because you guys don't know what's going to happen or who could be dealt at, at any moment? Um, you know, at the end of the day, uh, guys know it's a business. You know, we got to keep coming in here uh, doing the best that we can to better ourselves and better ourselves for the team. And, you know, all that type of stuff take care of itself. Um, you know, that's decisions that's out of your control. Um, you just got to keep coming and work being a professional. I know it's a question we probably talked about past weeks, but maybe with the Cardinals, have you noticed anything that's kind of prevented y'all from pushing the ball downfield? Um, just not playing, just not playing good offense. Um, you know, last game, and uh, we just got to be better. Period. Point blank. Yeah. Brandon, sorry if you already answered this, but what about how well you seem to do on third down receptions? You're tied for first in the league. I mean, how how much how how good is it for you to be able to be that guy on third? I mean, I think it's huge. As we all know, around the league, you know, receivers often say a third down, money down. And, you know, at the end of the day, that's just give yourself a chance to stay on the field and to be able to look at as that guy to be able to make those plays in those time uh, is huge. And I just want to continue to build on that. Yeah, it, it, Cole was talking about how, you know, sometimes with Tyrod getting out of the pocket, that was what kind of got him able to throw those deep balls and a couple of them went to you. Is that kind of part of what this offense has, is like, you know, the ability to get outside the pocket, throw it deep? Uh, I mean, you know, I mean, those type of plays, that's just, you know, Tyrod being an athlete, you know, there's ways for us to get down the field regardless, um, but it's just the little things that we got to do to be able to do that. It's not just about getting out the pocket. We can do it inside the pocket as well, uh, but a lot has to happen for that to be able to get done. Anything else? Appreciate it. Thank you. Communicated to you in your role now with the defense. Seems like you're coming in more in uh, reserve situations. Uh, and nothing pretty much besides they wanted me in the best position where I, they felt I was no, you know, more comfortable in. And you know that's basically all it was. How, how do you feel about the change? I mean, for me, it's, I mean, as long as I'm able to go out there and do what I can, you know, I'm just gonna step up to that role. You still had productivity, whether it was. I'm sorry, I can't hear you. Pardon. You still had productivity, whether it was not just on those tackles for losses, but tackles for no yards. How do you feel like you played um, just as far as run stopping? Yeah, like, I mean, like I said, I was just whatever role that they uh, they feel like where I fit. That's why I'm trying to just go out there and do the best I can. I feel like I've I've done a pretty good job of that. So do you um, in the locker room yourself individually and other guys? What do you think about the NFL trade deadline? Does that cause any conversations, anxiety? How do you kind of approach that mentally? Yeah, I mean, there's going to be conversations, but, you know, everyone's pretty much just focused on the, you know, the next game, the next team that we have to play. That's the main focus that we have. What's preventing the defense from, you know, being as efficient as it can be at this moment? Uh, yeah, I think it comes down to everyone, you know, just doing their job. Everyone's sticking to that and trusting in, you know, Trusting in the defense and trusting in doing your job, and that's that's like once we all, as a defense, all come together and do that, then we're gonna make plays. Do you feel uh, Daryl Henderson as a back and uh, kind of runner he is? Uh, yeah, from what I've seen, he's a pretty good back. Uh, you know, a good another good challenge for us as a defense. Something that I think we're gonna be able to step up to. Matthew 
Matthew Stafford and kind of season he's had and kind of quarterback he is in the pocket? Yeah. Uh... Goes along the same lines, you know. Great, great athlete, great quarterback, and you know, I feel like what we try to focus on as a defense is not individual players, just more of us being able to do our job, us being able to uh, hold together as a defense. And if we keep that focus, we'll be able to uh, do good. You know, being out with the thumb at least for now. Mm-hmm. I mean, what has your role changed going into this week? Uh, no. It hasn't. Uh, we have guys stepping up the role. Neville, we have stepping up into uh, as a, as that Mike linebacker stepping up in that role. I think he's going to be able to do a good job in that. As far as the, the losing streak, how are you guys handling that, and what is it like the, the frustrations of having lost six in a row? Yeah, I mean, it's the same thing as if you're winning. You got to take it week to week. You got to watch the film and see what you can correct. You know, see like what it is that's causing this, like you said, the big plays. You know. Just going, that's just week to week with that. All set? Hey, Zach. Um, being one of the longest tenure players on this team, what is what is it like for you personally just, just to see all the changes that this organization has been through over the last year or so? Um, I don't really have a, <laughs> a good answer for that one. I mean, it's just, I mean, obviously there's been a lot of changes, and that's, I mean, that's something that you get used to, that I've gotten used to in the league. And so I don't really think too much on that. All set, guys? Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Mark Ingram being traded to the Saints. Do you have any thought of that? Um, well, I just got out of a meeting, so I don't know the logistics of all that. But um, I know that Mark's a really good teammate, a really good leader, um, good person overall. And, uh, you know, any organization will be lucky to have him, and he'll definitely be missed here. But um, as far as that goes, we just got to prepare for the Rams and focus on going 1-0. The team is in more of a selling position than a buying position at this time of year. How does that weigh on the locker room? Um, I mean, I don't know anything about that. My job is to come in here, snap the ball when they say go, and and block and try to score touchdowns. So, um you know, all the front office stuff and, and, and coaching, I'm going to leave to them. You know, I just tell me the game plan, what I got to do, who I'm playing, and that's my focus. What sort of a boost is it for the offense to get Tyron back potentially as soon as this week? Um, whenever you have someone like that who, um, you know, like Tyrod's played a lot of ball, has a lot of experience, a lot of poise, just uh, um, the leadership he brings, um, is, it just makes you kind of feel more confident and uh you know we've we've missed him um you know since week two and uh it'll be good to have him back i think uh i think davis has had a lot of really good reps and and things to learn from and he's grown a lot um throughout the early part of the season and um going through ups and downs not just him but collectively as an offense as a team um we've had our struggles we've had our battles and and so whenever we get someone like Tyrod uh, potentially coming back this week, it's just huge to the morale, kind of where we're at in the in this season. What have, what have you seen from Davis as he's grown as a starter and a rookie? Um, just poise, um, you know, um, some confidence here and there. I know he would like to have some um, throws and, and different things back, uh, um, but but you see the confidence never wavers. Um, he's going out there week in week out trying to be aggressive, trying to go win the game for us and do what he needs to do. Um, and so, you know, uh, being the center blocking for him, um, I've appreciated how he's gone about it and how he's approached each week um, with the mindset of let's get better, let's execute, and let's go win the game. And, you know, when things don't happen, they don't happen. And you try to learn from him, you try to correct the mistakes. But, um, you know, the losses um, aren't on him. They're not on me. They're on all of us. So. Um, we we got to do a better job protecting the football, a better job um, staying on schedule and not getting penalties and, and finishing drives whenever we get in the red zone. All set. All right. Thank you. Thanks, guys.